Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr, and I've got three awesome pieces of news to share with you today. The first is a brand new AWS Simple Pricing Calculator. This is designed to help you to model and estimate the cost of your cloud workloads. It works with EC2, EBS, and data transfer. You can model EC2 workloads that are constant, that are daily spiked, weekly spiked, or monthly spiked, and even a combination of all of those. The calculator is really smart. It understands how to use reserved instances to your best advantage and to save you some money. When you are just about finished, you can open up a little triangle. It'll show you all the calculations, show the work behind the scenes. When you are all, all finished, you can download a spreadsheet that has all the information that you've modeled. Check out my blog post to learn a whole lot more about the simple pricing calculator. Next update is for Amazon RDS users. We've got new versions of two of the popular database engines used with RDS, MariaDB 10.3, Brand new Oracle compatibility, a very, very cool temporal query facility where you can look back in time and query your database as it was at any point in the past. A fast add column feature and a fast fail DDL. We've also added support for MySQL 8.0. Some of the cooler features include much improved JSON support. There's also GIS support so you can build your own geo apps. This includes a broad set of additional data types, a whole bunch of new functions, and then indexes on those data types for rapid and efficient querying. There's better performance across the board, and there's also an instant add column feature. One of the things I love about RDS, you can launch with MySQL or MariaDB in a matter of minutes and get some experience with these brand new features right away. Last up, got a great update for Amazon ElastiCache. We now support the newest M5 and R5 instance types. Both these are based on the AWS Nitro system. They feature the enhanced network adapter. They're powered by Intel Xeon scalable processors. These are custom processors that run at all core 3.1 gigahertz speed. The M5s give you up to 384 gigabytes. I did actually mean gigabytes, not gigabytes there. The R5s give you up to 768 gigabytes. What this means, you can build a 15 shard Redis cluster with nine and a half tebabytes of memory, a 20 node memcache cluster with 12.7 tebabytes of memory. If you wanna go even bigger than that, file a service limit increase with us and we'll be happy to oblige. That's all I've got for you this week. We got 30 days to go until reInvent. I love to hear from you. Send me some emails, send me a Twitter DM. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you right away. See you next week.